Hey, I'm Vea. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to talk about how to get ready for a court date. So maybe you've got a trial coming up, maybe you have a hearing coming up. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to walk in there 100% ready, feeling empowered and ready to slay. If you find this information helpful, please click like, subscribe, or share it with people that you think it will help because that's the whole point. Um, but let's get started. Okay, so prepare, preparing for court, you know, you're gonna want the usual stuff. You're gonna want your paperwork already, you want your documents, you want your court binders, you wanna know where and when. Some cities have different court houses. You wanna make sure you're going to the right one, you wanna have the right time. You want to have a kick-ass outfit so you don't need to go over the top this doesn't need to be a power suit you don't need to wear a dress or a skirt you need to wear something that's clean and that makes you feel strong and powerful and if you are into crystals or any type of props or talismans bring them with you bring them on have all the extra armor that you can get because why not it's also a great idea to have um, a calming meditation or some kind of affirmation recording, something that you're familiar with, that makes you feel good, that calms you down. Have it ready on your phone, have your earbuds ready. So on the in-between times, because there's a lot of waiting in court, you can listen to that and just get calm and stay peaceful. Also, bring water and snacks. You can have like one covered vessel, like a travel mug or something like that in the actual courtrooms. Um, you definitely can't eat in the courtrooms, but you can snack outside in the halls and it could be a long day. So you wanna come prepared with something healthy, something nourishing, something high in protein and slow burning carbs to keep you running and feeling good throughout the day. That's pretty typical stuff. You can find that just in a quick Google search anywhere. But what I really wanna to get to is visiting the courthouse before your hearing. So ideally you can go like a week before and spend a couple hours there getting to know the building. If that's completely out of the question for you, I highly recommend getting there on the day at least an hour, maybe an hour and a half before your hearing or your trial date. What we're wanting to do with this time is get familiar with the building and give ourselves time to process and manage any emotions or triggers that come up just around being there right so our nervous systems are designed to scan for threat and court is scary but if we can become familiar with what happens in the building and the building itself it feels so much less scary it can actually be a place that you enjoy going to we want to go to the courthouse we want to find out where the parking is or how to take the bus there we want to know where the bathrooms are and we want to get the swing of how the whole building works there's a lot going on in courthouses there's different sections of those buildings so generally when you walk in there's a lobby with kind of a concierge and there'll be a deputy there they're in full uniform and they're typically and they typically have guns so if you're Canadian, that's deterring. We're not used to seeing guns, but it's cool. It's just part of the thing. They're very friendly. You can go and ask them for help. There's also going to be a wall with papers up on it, and that's where you're going to find the listings of which parties are being heard at what time in what room. There's also the whole paperwork section of the courthouse, which is really fun and cool and it can be a great place to actually just sit and hang out and watch the busyness and how things work. This is going to be a really valuable part of the, part of the courthouse for you if you're self-representing. This is where court documents get filed. This is where you can ask for transcripts of previous uh, hearings or trials. There's a bunch of different desks that have a bunch of different functions. They're labeled um, and everybody there is pretty friendly. If you're confused, you can go back to the deputy guy and ask him like, hey, I'm trying to get this done. Where do I go? These people are here to help you. It seems overwhelming in the beginning, but if you can just go and spend time and watch and see what happens at each desk, you're going to feel so much more comfortable with the whole thing because it's becoming familiar. 
There's also the library. The court library is a place you can go to get information about specific laws. You can see case law, you can look up case law. They also have free Wi-Fi and generally they have computers you can even access if you don't have a laptop or your phone isn't working. Then you've got all the courtrooms themselves. Generally on different floors, there'll be different levels of hearings happening. Hearings are small little 15 minute to three hour hearings where judges will hear small matters that can be decided in short amounts of time. There's also trials which typically take days or weeks and those usually happen on a different floor. So you can check that all out, get familiar with the lay of the land. But what we're wanting to do more than anything here is get into that courthouse and feel our emotions. Initially, we're gonna feel anxiety, overwhelm, fear, confusion, and that's totally normal. That's your nervous system responding in the way that it should. But what you can do is take yourself by the hand in your mind, picture yourself as a little girl or picture another version of yourself and just reassure and show her that it's okay. Like, look, we're here. Yeah, it's scary. Let's feel our scared feelings. Let's breathe through it. Let's listen to our meditations. Let's get calm. And let's know that this is a safe place. Even arriving at the courthouse 45 minutes before your, your trial or your hearing, and just walking through the hallways, finding your courtroom, making a little space for yourself outside of it, sitting down, getting calm, and feeling your feelings can go such a long way in showing up in, an, in a powerful way in the actual trial or the hearing. The trick here is we're afraid of the unknown. Just as humans, that's the deal. If it's familiar, we feel comfortable with it. If it's unfamiliar, we feel fear. So the strategy behind going to the courthouse beforehand is to make it familiar so that it's not a scary thing anymore. That way, all you have to focus on is the actual hearing or the actual trial and the information you need to provide or just sitting there and listening to your lawyer. We wanna get the emotion piece out of the way first so we can show up as our whole selves without this cloud of fear and anxiety, confusing our brains and making it so that we're reacting rather than responding. I know for me, the first time I went to the courthouse, I actually brought a friend with me. I was so afraid. Uh, we went to the courthouse together. We barely walked in. I saw the guy in uniform with the gun and I was like, oh my God, I can't deal. And I walked out. I was literally shaking. Um, I was lucky that I had my hearing was months away. So I, I planned to keep going and I went, I think, four times before my actual hearing. The second time I went, I was able to go into the paperwork part and I just sat there and watched. And by the end of an hour, I actually really enjoyed my time there. It was fun to watch such a busy, exciting place um, where everything's just so quiet and so calm, but very, very busy. There's so much being done. The third time I toured the building and got to know the different floors, I found out where the bathrooms were, and now I was starting to really feel confident in this courthouse. I felt like I had owned it somehow, that I had imprinted on it energetically, like this was my turf now. And by the fourth time, I walked in there like I own the place. I breezed right past the deputy, didn't pay mind to him and his gun at all, checked out where my hearing might be. I knew exactly where the elevators were. I went up there and I was just so much more able to be in my power, in my body without this veil of fear confusing everything. This is the information I wanted to convey in this video. I believe by carving time out of your schedule to visit the courthouse beforehand, get to know it, make it familiar so it's no longer scary and give your body and your emotions the time to process and be there ahead of time when you don't have to deal with what's actually going on. You can just deal with your feelings. 
you're going to be able to show up for your hearing or your trial or your court date in so much more of an empowered way. You're going to be able to rock in there like you own the place, like you know what's going on, and you're going to show up in your truth and ask for what's fair. If you found this information helpful, please click like or subscribe or share it. Also check out some of the other videos. I'm going to link to them down below. I've got tons of tips and tricks on how to manage your divorce or your high conflict divorce. Um, and again, thank you so much for your time. That's it for today. Take good care.